symbolism of Freemasonry remains one of its biggest enigmas. Washington, D.C. is the American headquarters of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Outside, the temple is merely monumental, but we're going inside into a hidden realm of images and icons, marble and myth. The roots of Freemasonry lie in the operative stonemason's tools, work, and even job titles. None more so than the system of hand grips denoting how qualified and what rank a specific mason held. Freemasonry uses many, many symbols. I am Akram Elias, and I am a Freemason. Currently the senior grand warden of the Grand Lodge of Free and Accepted Masons in Washington, D.C. Of course, the one that is most known, and we call it the universal symbol of Freemasonry, is the square and compasses. The compasses are the instrument that help a Mason learn that he is at the center of the creation. And you use the compasses to draw a circle around you, and the idea being that you need to circumscribe your desires when dealing with others. Don't go into extremes. Extremism is bad. Be moderate. The square is a symbol of wisdom because it brings together the concept of equality, equal sides, and rectitude, 90 degree angles. Using wisdom, you can know how large the set of compasses should be in dealing with others. That's the universal symbol of Freemasonry. The travel, however, is of very special significance because, you know, operative Masons use the travel to obviously lay the cement, which brings the various stones together and have them bond. In Freemasonry, we look at the trowel as the one instrument that spreads and lays fraternal brotherhood, which is the way through which we can come together as a band of brothers, respect one another's religion, one another's opinion. That's the idea behind it. So the trowel is essential to brotherhood. In many places, you will find the letter G. And the letter G representing the great geometer, the grand architect of the universe. That is that supreme being, supreme intelligence, whoever, whatever that is, reflecting the, the diverse beliefs of the brethren. The layout of the lodge room holds great significance. It is the template of the Freemasonic idea. The lodge room is positioned east-west with three important positions, starting here in the south. This is where the junior warden sits. We call that the pillar of beauty. Understanding and appreciating beauty is very important because that leads a person to think positively, to be creative in his or her thinking. And from there, we move to the second station, which is located in the west. That pillar is represented by strength because we need the strength of character in order to stand behind the beauty, stand behind those principles and beliefs that Freemasons espouse. And that is, every man is entitled to be a free man, to think for himself, to act for himself. That right should be defended. And here's the most important station in the lodge, the third pillar in a lodge, and it's situated in the east. This is where the master of the lodge sits, and his symbol is a square. It is considered the pillar of wisdom. Again, wisdom is the ability to balance rectitude and equality. That is, to provide the equal opportunity and make sure there is equal treatment offered to everyone. The balancing of the two make the square, and that is symbolized, the symbol of wisdom in Freemasonry. Central to the furniture of a lodge is the altar. On it, you will find in an operating lodge the volume of the sacred law. It is reference to whatever holy books that the members of the lodge believe in. You notice there are what we call three lesser lights. When the candidate is being initiated, it is dark. And when he sees those three lesser lights, help him see what is here. 
the volume of the sacred law and the universal symbol of Freemasonry. Numbers and geometric shapes also hold immense meaning in Freemasonry. Three is of special significance in, in Freemasonry. As you saw, there are three positions, three pillars in the lodge, three lesser lights. Esoterically, it represents the nature of the human being. We are part physical, part intellect, and part spirit. And this is why often in Freemasonry you see the equilateral triangle in symbolism, because it's three equal sides to represent that. And that gives you a hint about what the significance of the three degrees are. It isn't just the surroundings of the lodge room. Even the clothes Freemasons wear are laden with symbolism. The first thing that I put on is the apron. The apron is the badge of a Mason. A Mason cannot be accepted into a lodge if he's not wearing an apron when the lodge is at labor. In many lodges, the apron is decorated with emblems denoting their ranks and role. Apprentice Masons wear a plain white apron. Now, in our Grand Lodge, the free and accepted Masons in Washington, D.C., the apron of a Grand Lodge officer is still a white apron. The white apron is the apron given to the entered apprentice. It is white, symbol of innocence, and it is to remind ourselves that no matter how high up in grade, you know, and in degrees we get, we're always apprentices. We're always the learning. This around my neck is called the collar, and it has a jewel. The jewel represents my office, and this jewel is the level, which is an operative tool used by operative masons, obviously, to level their work when they're working the stone. For Masons, for Freemasons, it has a philosophical meaning to remind us that we should meet on the level, no matter what our social economic background is, no matter what religion we believe in, no matter what we do professionally. And that is the tool that symbolizes the office of the senior warden, like in a lodge room, but here in this case, I am at the Grand Lodge a level. In the the jurisdiction of Washington, D.C., we also wear a name badge. This is to help, uh, especially for a Grand Lodge officer, as you travel around from one lodge to another for new brothers, new members, to know who you are. It makes it easier. So basically, it has the name uh, on it. It says Grand Lodge, you know, of the District of Columbia. And then the gloves. Gloves are an ancient tradition, you know, for Freemasons. Uh, it, the idea behind it is that you're covering your hands, everybody becomes equal, people may be wearing different jewelry, you know, nice diamond rings, that disappears, you know, basically, you're wearing gloves. Now, not every lodge room still adhere to that. In some lodges, everybody is expected to have, wear their gloves. In other lodges, officers must be in gloves. And in some other lodges, everyone in the lodge room must wear the gloves. All of the symbols of Freemasonry work towards a common goal, to remind and inspire Freemasons to carry on with their good work and to strive for a balance of beauty, strength, and wisdom, both inside and out.